Welcome to Imagine More Book Club. Today's book is called Gigantosaurus, written by Johnny Duddle and read by me, Thembi Palmer. Many million years ago, beyond the path of the lava flow, on the edge of the jungle where the herbivores glazed, four little dinosaurs spent their days playing in the crustaceous sun, following tracks and having fun. The dinosaur mom said, beware my child of the gigantosaurus so fierce and wild with teeth as long as you are tall. He'd soon make a snack of one so small. His feet go stomp, his jaws go crunch, and in the blink of an eye, you'd be his lunch. Bony, Tiny, Finn and Bill went off to play up on the hill. The gigantosaurus was on their minds till Bonehead said, I think you'll find we need to look out and I'm the best. I'll give you a good view from the termite nest. But it was only a minute before Bonehead cried, It's Gigantosaurus! Quick, run, hide! Thud, thud, thud. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch. No fierce monster had smelled his lunch. It's just Triceratops, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. But you passed my emergency warning trial. Now I'll keep watch from that rock for a while. But a little bit later, Bonehead cried, The Gigantosaurus, quick, run and hide! Bum, bum, bum! They ran, they hid, they shook in fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no hungry beast after snacks to munch. It was Diplodocus, Bonehead laughed. You ran, you hid, ha <laughs> you're all so daft. But danger lurks as you need learn. I'll look from that enormous fern. It didn't take long till they heard a shout. Gigantosaurus, you better watch out. Thump, thump, thump. They ran, they hid, they shook. With fear, the Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no carnivore with a whiff of lunch. It's Stegosaurus, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. But at least you passed my final test. Now I'll take a nap in that comfy nest. Then seconds later, the cry began. Gigantosaurus, run as fast as you can. But though his friends heard what Bonehead cried, by now, they knew that Bonehead lied. That's it, said Bill. We're off to explore, and we're not going to play with you anymore. With everyone gone, Bonehead was alone. He began to wish he was back home, because an awful noise was coming near, and now there was a good reason to fear. The feet went stomp. The jaws went crunch, and the Gigantosaurus had his lunch. Bonehead's friends came running back after they heard the tree go crack. Poor old Bonehead, it's such a shame. What a sad end to his naughty game. Even though he tricked and lied, at least he taught us how to hide. Burp. But then they heard a muffled cry from the scraps of the nest that lay nearby. I'm here, it's me, I survived. I'm sorry that I tricked and lied. But this time, honestly, it's true. There's a pterodon after you. And though Bonehead thought they'd run in fright, his friends just shrugged and said, ha, yeah, right. The end. Hey, no, no.